Hi, welcome to DC Fine Gives Hope. And if you're trying to guess my surroundings, it's yes. I'm in the toilet on the crapper doing a number two. Why? I just thought it was appropriate for what I'm about to talk about and the subject. And I don't know, it seems artistic. So recently I made a video called I Why I Hate Marvel. Now, what's a pr what shouldn't have surprised me was the fact that people that watched it were fans of Marvel, and they had to put in the comments. Now, if you if you were a fan of something, you wouldn't watch somebody spout out about why they dislike it, because it's that person's own opinion. But then I, I shouldn't be surprised because. We are all in some sort of way more supporters than fans I've often said in my videos. We all feel we need to defend against the hatred. So maybe there should be more more videos out there hating on Marvel as there is people hating on DC. Maybe Marvel fans aren't used to people hating their stuff on their on their movies. Maybe it's uncommon or maybe it doesn't get the subscription. But people are entitled to their own opinions and whatever you watch or whatever you read, it's, um, there's an easy way around that. You know, avoid the stuff uh, with headlines, especially headlines that seem to go against the stuff that you're passionate about. But, I mean, roll on the people that feel uh, that they have to defend it. And that is what I do on DC Fan Girls Hope. Uh, it may not be the majority, but it's my opinion. So if something offends you, feel offended, but there's an easy way around it. And that is totally, you know, not watch it or dislike it. Because uh, everybody's opinion is their own. And there's going to be people out there who are going to love something that the majority of people do not like. There's going to be movies out there that people will love uh, and other people never even heard of. Well, wish it, it uh, got better results, you know. Um, and But we've become, we're living in a society where it's so easy to hate. The internet makes us all these sort of trolls that we have to, and posts that are out there are consistently trying to evoke some sort of reaction to get some sort of comment. Everything's judged by how much uh, a movie makes or how much uh, you know expectations for a movie to be made. But what can we do by this? We can learn from it. We can learn the uh, from past mistakes. Uh, if a movie is bad, it either means or doesn't make enough money, it either means they won't carry on down that line with that franchise or they won't make it again. I mean, Army of Darkness for me is a classic. Why has there never been a sequel? Because it never made all that money. You know, so, but I'll defend Army of Darkness, uh, Evil Dead 3. Um, it's just, it's just un, un, unreal how passionate people can be. But I, I think the internet and social media is out there evoking all these uh, feelings that, um, you know, they're evoking all these feelings that shouldn't be evoked in the first place. People should be able to like or hate the stuff that need be. And that's hence why I started this page because and the Facebook page is because I was sick of all the negative stuff and just wanted some place where you can um, put what you love about DC onto a page and, and we will back you up, we will try and look at whatever you like about the DC and, and see it through your eyes because the world is just too much full of hate and and anger and stuff like that. I see that all the time on Facebook when it comes between um, DC and Marvel. What what happened recently is there's now more more news about Rockstar 
because this rumour has been going on for, for years now that Rockstar is still trying to get a Superman game up and running to be the same way as Batman. And it should be because Henry Cavill is doing a great job uh, and he has been voted one of the best, uh, you know, in a poll, one of the best Superman and stuff like that for the role. And so why not create a game, especially for one who not only captures the spirit of Superman on the screen, but on his own personal life still treats everyone with a lot of respect and is trying their best to put a great Superman once again back on our screens. Uh, also there's talks about what is um, the DCEU's future. Will we, will we have a cinematic universe? Strangely enough it doesn't seem possible so far. They may still do standalone movies, even though we may have an Aquaman or a Batman and it's it's starting to look as though Warner Brothers isn't thinking ahead about a cinematic universe. I mean I could be wrong, but all suggestions shows that we may have um I mean the ones that are marked Wonder Woman to Suicide Squad, there was meant to be a sirens and there was meant to be a Joker and Harley. Um, there was meant to be a cyborg and stuff, so to have something different than just a continuing st story like the Marvels actually might be a good thing. It may mean that each character uh, and, uh, and each film will have uh, a new fresh idea about it that what you don't get with Marvel. Um, and so you're going to, and I think, whatever way it turns out, it still benefits the fans. Also, what else is happening in the news? We've got in the Superman movie. Uh, we also got uh, Paul. No, that's about it. But listen, as I say, if you're a Marvel fan, then don't tune in to something that's about DC and vice versa because you're bound to get aggravated, you're bound to get angry so you're better off sticking to to your own hobbies and your own likes because not everybody likes train spotting or plane spotting or collecting cars so why join the group in the first place? You know, let fans have their space let have fans have their say and just let them squabble. I will not join a um, a group like Comic Book Cast that I know is a Marvel fan uh, YouTube or, or group. I'm not listening to them. And so that way they won't anger me or go under my skin. So if you are a Marvel fan, this YouTube is definitely not, not for you. Uh, the page is not for you, so give yourself an easier life and listen to people that are saying stuff that you like. That way the net and YouTube will be a much more friendlier place and let people have their own opinions and, and say it. And you don't need to listen to those opinions, especially with headlines that saying, Why I hate Marvel. Thank you. Thanks for listening. Uh, uh, uh.